everyone. Hey, congratulations for Grim Cuddy on for Halloween, which is, you know what? A very fun movie, I do have to admit. <laughs> so, Great. John, let me, let me shoot it off to you first. Where did the original idea came from um, for, for this? I mean, there, it's, it's pulling a lot of ideas out of many different directions. Yeah, I mean, I, I was, um, it uh, kind of started back when the Momo thing was happening and I saw these like local news, uh, local news broadcasts about it. And, um, you know, they kind of, I, I was, I was just really struck by the disconnect between what adults thought it was and what parents thought it was, you know, the news reports would start off with this kind of like scaremongering and then um you know then they go to a segment where they say we ask kids what they thought about it and the kids are just like huh um so it just felt ripe for satire um it you know and i had been wanting to do invasion of the body snatchers but with technology and um i also wanted to do this kind of invasion of the body snatchers where it only affects parents and not kids and uh, do something where kids need technology to like solve a mystery, but um, they have their phones taken away and what are they gonna do? And all these ideas just kind of like swirled together. And it felt like a, it felt like a fun, like eighties throwback kind of thing, but contemporary at the same time, so. Most excellent. Sarah Usman, what initially attracted to uh, this project and did it change your perspective towards social media? I just like the audition came to me. I'm like, oh, this is a cool title. Um, and I um, I read this. I didn't get the whole script at first, but I got the sides. And I feel like I automatically connected to Asha, um, who was like Ashley at the time. Then we changed it to Asha. Um, but yeah, I think it was just like I hadn't read anything like it before. It was just so original, these ideas and I think I, I haven't heard of like the Momo um, challenge before this. Um, so when I read it, I was like, wait, it's like come to life. And then I'm also into horror and I love to scream. Um, so I think just like the whole screaming and, and everything. It, yeah. <laughs> Sarah is a really good screamer, by the way. <laughs> I remember like on set, they're like, they're like, okay, the scream's coming. Like, <laughs> like sound be ready. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think for me, you know, I was, I, I was given the script and I read it and I thought it was really interesting, this idea about um, p paranoia and how paranoia can kind of um, move you in one direction or the other, speaking over controlling of your children or protective of your children. But also, I just have to say that uh, one of the major draws for me was the opportunity as a person of color, particularly South Asian and Muslim man, to be able to be in a horror movie. So I was really uh, thankful that, you know, John and that 20th Digital and Hulu were all interested in exciting and portraying a family that you don't typically see in horror movies, I think, anyway. A mixed race family with a South Asian father, a mixed race mother, and their children. And that it wasn't necessarily about their ethnicity, but that they were just a representation of what is an American family. And this thing is going to happen to this American family this time, as opposed to the standard sort of thing that you see a lot, young white people in danger. Um, so I, I just was, I was really drawn to having the opportunity to do that. And I was excited by, you know, the ensemble that we were able to put together. Well, representation do, do count. And that's, that's a, that's a good representation point that you made this one. Now, as for uh, Grim Cuddy itself, uh, um, John, could you tell us about uh, creating that look? What, what, was that a costume or was that uh, digital? Uh, yeah, it was a costume. Um, you know, we didn't, we're, we're a pretty small movie. So, you know, we kind of ruled out CGI early on, but we didn't rule out CGI cleanup sort of. Um, Cause that's something that you can do even if you don't have tons of time on set. Um, so I knew I wanted to build it like a big uh, puppet and just kind of like clean it up. Um, but, you know, it was just kind of something that was in my head. And, um, you know, I did a, a concept of it. And um, then when the project was greenlit, we kind of like refined the design some more just to make make sure that everybody was kind of creeped out by it. And um, then then we then we built it. 
And, um, you know, I just kind of, when you're on a small movie like this, I think you, I, my instinct is always to just to go practical because practical effects are always just more entertaining. Um, the last thing you want is to be stuck with, uh, you know, bad or subpar CGI, you know, where you, where it looks like you didn't have enough money to finish it. Um, cause CG, CGI, unless it's done really, really well, it's usually, it will be boring and practical effects, I think are never boring. Um, and it was just fun to have it there on set for people to interact with and to have it like grab people and stuff. Well, um, I, I, I could tell Sarah was terrified uh, um, in, in this movie. Sarah, I'm going to toss you the last question, and it's going to be an offbeat question. Um, did it feel uh, funny to you to do ASMR in a film like this? Because uh, because the first time I heard of it, uh, you know, I was kind of like uh, weirded out by it, but I can't imagine you doing this. <laughs> Um, I was like weirded out at first and then eventually like once I got into it, I'm like, oh, this is kind of like, it makes me tingle. But yeah, for sure. At, at first it, um, it definitely weirded me out, but yeah. <laughs> Most excellent. Well, hey, everyone, thank you very much uh, for speaking to us about Grim Cuddy. It is, it is horrifying and fun at the same time, but this, this is, this is why we watch horror films. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs>